Hey brothers and sisters, how y'all doing? Hope you guys are doing great. Thank you for coming back and checking out the new video for the Natural Hair Empowerment Series. And today we're talking about fear and acceptance with your natural hair. So for those of us who big chopped our hair, or even for those of us who transitioned or are just not used to wearing our own natural hair out and have been wearing it under wigs and weaves our whole lives, the moment when you say, okay, I'm ready to go out in the world and wear my hair out is a big moment. And for some of us, it's right away, like after a big chop, we're ready, we're out there. But for most of us, there's some thought that goes into it, like, okay, um, are people going to be looking at me crazy? Do I look pretty like this? Do I look better like this? Um, what about men? What about my family? You just start having all these thoughts about what's going to happen when you step out of your room, out of your house, into the world. So I started thinking, okay, what happened when I went natural and I big chops and I was ready to go out into the world? I embraced it. I just sort of had my hair cut. I was like, this is cool. This is cute. I'm ready to go out into the world. So I remember I went out that day with the guy that I was dating. And after the date was over, he was just like, my goodness, your hair looks so good. He was the one that sort of gave me that like, hey, you should chop off your hair and that was really encouraging and I was really happy to have that but then he said you know when you said you were gonna chop your hair off I thought it was gonna make you look uglier so no guys would talk to you but instead it made you look even more beautiful and now you know I'm just in shock at how beautiful you look and that was really like a backhanded compliment because it kind of made me go wait a minute you thought I was gonna look ugly like that that's what you you want you wanted me to look ugly you think this hair is ugly you know and of course you know he was trying to say it actually looks beautiful but just that sort of made me take a step back and think to myself well is it ugly <laughs> and I mean that's horrible but that's what I ended up thinking is it ugly and at the time when I went natural the first time in 2010 there weren't a whole bunch of natural girls yes they were on YouTube but in California where I live in Southern California there are not a whole lot of natural girls even now there's more now but there really aren't a lot most girls out here do wear weaves and you know their hair is relaxed it's not a common thing I know when I've gone to like Miami and other places I've seen like oh my goodness all these girls are natural Texas but here that's not the case so me going out with my hair like that I was definitely a minority and it took a lot for me to start accepting what my hair looked like and wanting to go out with it so what I would do is um, I would only wear it out like sometimes so I would wear it in like a wig or I put like beanies on or hats on and go out that way and then maybe like once a week or something I would wear it out and I would kind of just gauge okay what are people saying and I noticed that no one was actually like paying attention they could really care less it didn't seem like I was having any different interactions with people um, it was really okay and I noticed that I was also like warning people and that's how I knew okay I'm truly not accepting my hair because I was warning people like before I would go out to lunch with someone or dinner with someone I would say oh by the way I'm wearing my hair out like why am I prepping you for me wearing my natural hair out but that's what I was doing and a lot of people especially the guys they um had this thought in their mind that oh her hair is about to be ugly because they were thinking about the people who had their hair any kind of way and would just you know step out the house you know so when they would see me they were like it looks nice and I'm like really really does it does it and I was waiting for people to say it looked good before I accepted that and that was really bad so when I came to that realization when one day someone asked me to dinner and I was like okay I'm wearing my hair out I thought no that's stupid I'm not I'm not even gonna say anything about it that's when I started noticing I was doing that and that's when I cut it out also too with me it wasn't the fact that my hair was natural that was hard it was the fact that it was so short I wasn't used to wearing short hair and having short hair um, I always had braids wigs weaves and so that in itself was actually more of the issue than the fact that it was natural um, but either way it was my hair and the moment the moment I stopped caring about what people thought about my hair what people said about my hair 
that was a moment where I actually started to feel beautiful. That was a moment where I started getting tons of compliments about my hair because I stopped thinking about it. I just completely stopped thinking about it. So the second time that I big chopped, that was not an issue. I was wearing my hair out as much as I could. I tried not to wear it out too much because of course I wanted to protect it and I realized when I was playing in it too much, it started breaking. So the moral of that story is, don't allow other people to map out what's beautiful for you. Don't try and fit yourself into their standards. If they don't think that your hair is cute, they don't have to talk to you. And obviously, if it's someone that you care about, if it's your mom, if it's your dad, if it's your significant other, you obviously you want them to like you, right? I get that. But if natural hair hasn't taught me anything, it's taught me how you can tell if a person can see past your exterior. Because whether my hair is in a turban or in twists or in a braid out or in a straight weave, that should not dictate how you treat me. And if it does, then there's something wrong with your character as a person. And that's not something I want to be associated with, period. I don't care who you are. So I've learned that. It really does take you saying, I don't care. You're going to accept it. You're going to deal with it. And it's beautiful. And it's on me. And I'm beautiful. So what's the issue? Until you can get to that point, you're going to always struggle. So this is my suggestion to you. If you're one of those people who wears wigs and weaves to cover their hair, I know it is so hard, but I encourage you to try this. One day, just one day, pick one day out of the week. And maybe Sunday is a good day if you don't go out too much on Sundays or you go out every other Sunday. One day and wear your hair out. Just that one day. Wear it out. Get comfortable slowly wearing your hair out. Get comfortable in your own skin. Get comfortable in your own hair. Just one day. Try it out. And when you try it out, leave a comment and tell me what happened. Tell me how you felt. Slowly start turning that one day into two days. Okay? Weekends. Slowly start doing that. Or Mondays and Fridays. Whatever. Get into the habit. But it's baby steps. Sometimes it's not just like, I'm natural and I'm going out like this. For some people, that personality is not them and it's not happening. It needs to be gradual and I get that and that's okay. So try it out one day. And for those of you who do wear your hair out sometimes but are not comfortable with it, I encourage you this week, this week, wear your hair out the entire week. Okay, for those of you who wear it out, maybe sometimes here and there, do one week of wearing your hair. If you're on Instagram, hashtag NHE and I will look at all your pictures and comment on them. I want to see your hair. Starting from today, just one week, wear your hair out. And for those of you who never do, one day. Just try it out and see what happens. I'm really interested in knowing how it goes. Just remember that this is a part of you. This is your hair. And I'm telling you, when you can overcome that, when you can move past that, you're going to see how much more you start to love yourself as a whole. Okay? Thank you guys so much for watching and make sure to check out the other girls videos who've done videos on the same exact topic of the natural hair empowerment series. We all have different experiences. We all have different advice. Make sure to check out their videos also. Big kisses to you all. Mwah. Hope you guys are doing fantastic and I'll see y'all later. Peace out.